Hi, I'm Zach Beer with Richards Manufacturing, and today we're going to demonstrate the CSH series Cold Shrink Hammerhead. This video is for demonstration purposes only and should not be used in place of approved product training or installation instructions. If you have any questions at all about this product, get in touch with the factory and we'd be happy to answer your questions. Let's review some of the features and benefits of the CSH series. The Cold Shrink Hammerhead is a cold shrink range taking dead break elbow for use on medium voltage power cable through 25 kV voltage class. Traditional dead break elbow designs require a cable adapter and a separate jacket seal in addition to the dead break elbow housing. We've revolutionized dead break elbows by combining all three into one optimized package. This results in the ultimate simplification in installation and increased reliability for the end user. Before we begin the installation, let's review the contents of the kit we'll be installing today. Uh, contents do vary by application and custom kits are available, but for today's installation, the contents include a cold shrink hammerhead housing. This is a size P. There's an O, a P, and a Q size. And the size P housing we'll be using accommodates the 4 watt power cable that we'll be using for this demonstration. Um, this sample has a capacitive test point, they are available with or without. We have installation instruction booklet, silicone grease packet of course, we have a tinned aluminum threaded stud, we have a cable prep kit which includes items such as gloves, mastics, and uh, cable cleaning wipes. And although the mating component can vary by the installation, for this demonstration we'll be using an insulating plug. So we have an insulating plug and the cap that goes on the back side of the insulating plug. So we've moved on to the installation of the CSH. We've gone ahead and prepared our power cable. This is 4 watt jacketed concentric neutral power cable. Um, we trained our cable in line with the bushing. We cut the end of the cable to be an inch and three quarters away from the uh, center line of the bushing. We've gone ahead and made our cutbacks in accordance with the installation instructions. We applied a jacket mastic and folded back our neutral wires. And then we went ahead and crimped a lug on the conductor. And in this case, we used, of course, a compression lug. But range taking shear bolt lugs are also available for use with the CSH series. In this step, we'll be applying stress control mastic. We've gone ahead and cleaned our cable insulation, and we've used the included cable solvent wipes. We wipe from the end of the cable towards the semicon shield. So now we're ready to install the stress control mastic at the semicon step. So you go ahead and find the stress control mastic from your cable prep kit says stress control mastic on the backing and it's a gray mastic. And we're going to approximately center that on the uh, semicon cutback. And you're going to just wrap completely around the cable with light tension. And just make sure that the stress control mastic is adhered to the cable by lightly pressing down. In this step, we'll be applying grease to the exposed cable insulation. We can use supplied or approved silicone grease. Apply the grease liberally and distribute completely around the cable insulation and up to the installed stress control mastic from the previous step. Next, we'll be installing the CSH onto prepared cable. We've transitioned from a uh, horizontal configuration where it was easier to show the, demonstra the demonstration of prepared cable, and now we have a mock-up equipment bushing and the cable is in a vertical orientation. Um, we take our CSH housing, we want to orient the test point, if it's equipped with one, outwards away from the equipment, and we simply slide the CSH onto the cable 
until the lug is fully inside the conductive insert in the CSH. Next, we're going to mount the CSH to the equipment bushing. So we've gone ahead and threaded our supply stud into the equipment bushing, and we've uh, cleaned and lubricated both the CSH cavity and the uh, equipment bushing interface. So we just want to verify that the uh, lug is fully seated inside of the CSH housing, and then we can go ahead and um, push the CSH and fully mount it onto the, uh, onto the, the equipment bushing. And we just want to make sure that the uh, stud is through the hole in the lug. Next, we're going to install the mating component, which in this installation is a uh, insulating plug. So we've gone ahead and cleaned and lubricated the uh, CSH uh, interface as well as the uh, insulating plug. And before we bring anything to torque, we want to uh, verify that the stud is through the lug. Once we verify that, we're going to insert the mating component and uh, catch the uh, threads on the stud, engaging the threads in the insulating plug, just getting it hand tightened to start. Using an approved tool with, for example, a torque limiter, you're going to bring the assembly to the torque requirement of the insulating plug, which is 50 to 60 foot-pounds. And then the insulating plug comes with a uh, cap, and this engages the uh, capacitive test point, the one-inch hex nut on the back side of the insulating plug. And that completes the installation of the mating component. In this step, we'll be ejecting the holdout core. And there are two options with the CSH. One is to eject the core by hand, and we also make a tool which uh, facilitates removal of the core. And the CSH is bolted in place, so removal by hand is something that's feasible. Uh, we will demonstrate the removal with the tool. So uh, the first step is to grasp the orange uh, ring, push it all the way down to the bottom of the core, and we want to rotate this ring until the cutting teeth um, break through tape that's on both sides of the core. Now, now that we've done that, we're going to take our removal tool. These are two identical halves that fit together. Uh, we will take one of the halves, rotate the ring so that the tool fits, and just pry the core enough to make room for the second tool. We insert the uh, two halves between the orange ring and the flange of the core, and we push the handle towards each other and pull the holdout core straight out. And you want to make sure not to twist this core, but to pull straight out. And twisting could cause this mylar film to dislodge under the jacket seal, so that's why we pull straight out without twisting at all. And then this core will separate into two half shells. Uh, once it comes out over the uh, neutrals of the cable jacket. In this step, we'll be applying a uh, jacket seal, mastic, and deploying the integral jacket seal. So we are going to take our sealing mastic. It's an extra wide piece of butyl sealing mastic. Remove the backing. And we're going to place this piece over the uh, jacket mastic that we applied way back when, earlier in the uh, installation video. And we're going to wrap with light tension all the way around the cable, and again, making sure that we completely cover the um, jacket mastic underneath the neutral wires. And once that's applied, we are going to just use a uh, small amount of silicone grease just as a assembly aid to uh, help deploy that jacket seal um, and we are going to grab the pull tabs on the jacket seal and deploy the jacket seal 
making sure not to disturb the mastic we just applied. We don't want it peeling that mastic off and having it come out as we deploy that jacket seal. The last step in the installation is to connect a drain wire to the CSH and to connect the metallic shield to ground. So we're going to select one of the available grounding eyes and attach a uh, drain wire to that grounding eye. And then we're going to attach three inches back from the jacket seal, approximately, a binding wire or a zip tie. And then we can connect the neutral wires, the cable neutral, uh, to ground according to your approved practice. So that completes the installation. For more information about the CSH or to see this great product in person, contact your local sales rep. Thanks very much for watching this video.